In this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how I plan and schedule my YouTube content. First, I'm gonna discuss why you should plan your content. And then I'll explain the app and website that I use, which is Trello. I'm gonna show you how I use Trello to organize my content ideas in every step of my YouTube video production process. I'll then show you how I take my ideas and schedule them into my calendar to film. So having a plan keeps you on track with your goals. And if you have a long to-do list, or in this case, a list of ideas, it can get overwhelming and make it difficult to even know where to start. Or the opposite could happen. You could start filming everything going on in your life because you think you need all of the content, but a lot of what you're shooting isn't relevant to the things that you actually plan to share in the future. Having a plan helps you create balance in your life and planning your content can lead to a more successful YouTube channel. Later in this video, I'll explain how planning your content can lead to more views on your channel and even more income. So the application or website that I use to organize my plan is called Trello. With Trello, you can create a board for any project, give it a name, and even invite others to collaborate. You can add lists to create steps in your workflow that's right for you. You then can create cards for tasks to complete or information that you wanna organize. And you're able to move those cards across your list to show progress. I think you have to pay for all of the features that Trello offer, but I'm just using the free version. And this video is not sponsored by Trello, by the way. So here you can see all of my boards. I have a lot of boards for a lot of the different projects or um, YouTube channels that I was planning on creating in the past. So let me dive into one of these boards. So here we have my YouTube recipes and cooking videos board. So in here you could see all of the different lists as well as a card for each of the recipes that I plan on creating. Let me show you another board real quick. So here's my YouTube food content creation board. And um, one thing that's different about this board is that I have a list for ideas. So whenever I'm just like driving or hanging out or sitting down or you know sitting in bed, whatever it may be, I might come up with an idea. And what I'll do is I'll just add those ideas to my ideas list. And so here's a list of you know all of the ideas that I have for possible content. And then what I'll do is sometimes these ideas aren't that great, but sometimes I have good ideas. So what I'll do is I can easily just drag this over into my list of good ideas. And then I have another list for, you know, my shorts or reels ideas. And then this is a list where I have the videos that are coming up. So these are the videos that I plan on creating in the near future. And then we pretty much go through the workflow of my production process, where I have these videos that are up next. I'm gonna write the script for them. After I write the script, I'll film them. They're edited. I'll create a thumbnail and description for them. And then they're done. I'll open up one of these cards so we can see what's inside of it. So my data management video, my storage and hard drives organization. Inside of this card, this is where we can see all of the details for this video. So I have a link to my Google Drive where I have all of this stuff organized. And then this link goes straight to my Google Drive where I have my script and I have a whole nother video breaking down how to write scripts. I'll be sure to put a link in the description below. And then inside of there, I also have affiliate links to some of the products that I plan on mentioning in the video. So I can easily share those. There's a lot of other features in here like checklists and due dates and calendars. This is really just kind of how I use it, more so as a way to organize the ideas like out of my mind onto you know, somewhere where I just know where they're at in what part of the production process, basically. So once I have my ideas, what I then will do is I'll create what's called a production schedule. I'm gonna show you last year's production schedule because I have some great examples to share with you. So here is my 2020 YouTube production schedule. And as you can see, I have a list for each month. And like I said, my goal was to just create 24 videos. So what I did is I put the videos that I wanted to focus on that month. And this just made it a lot easier for me to digest. You know, it's really difficult to look at a long list and think, where do I start? Where do I do? I don't even know. But if I just look at this list, I just know, hey, in January, I just need to focus on these three videos, right? February, it's just these two videos. And it just makes it much easier for me to just focus in on, 
hey, in February, I'm going to focus on creating my chocolate chip cookie recipe and my sous vide chicken breast recipe. What's great is you can even copy content from one board to another. Let's say I want to add this to my 2021 content uh, production schedule. All I need to do is hit this little pencil and then I can copy it. And then it asks me, where do I want to copy it to? So I can easily select my 2021 YouTube production schedule. And then where and what month do I want to copy that over to? And then create card. And then it'll move it over to that board. And then basically what I'll do is I'll figure out what week do I want to create that video. And then I'll just schedule that into my calendar. The day that I plan on writing the script the day that I plan on shooting, the day that I plan on editing it, and then the day that I plan on uploading it. It's that simple. By scheduling my content into my calendar, this is great because it helps when it comes to things like shopping for ingredients or preparing for recipes that take multiple days. Another great reason to plan your content schedule is because you can reference other videos and keep your viewers on your channel watching. For example, my French fry and smash burger video. In my French fry video, I mentioned that this recipe goes great with my smash burger. Check out my smash burger video. And in my smash burger video, I did the same thing and said, this burger goes great with my homemade French fries. Go check that one out. So I'm able to link the two together. Planning out the content allows me to be more effective and efficient with my time. Because I have a plan, or at least my ideas listed out, I can give priority to what I should shoot. I understand that things come up and every now and then you need to film something because of the opportunity, but having a plan helps you create some sort of strategy. So for example, in September, I came out with a five part series on how to make YouTube cooking videos with your phone. I wrote all of my scripts first so that I was able to batch shoot all of the talking parts of the videos in one day. I was also able to knock out a cooking video, which I shot on my phone, which was my panko crusted salmon recipe. And while I shot that recipe video on my phone, I shot the behind the scenes of that video to use in my how to make cooking videos on your phone series. So you can see how with some simple planning, I was able to efficiently and effectively use my time to produce five videos in two days. And I'll take it even one step further. In the very first video of my five part series, I talked about the gear that I would recommend before getting started. I lightly touched on the importance of good audio and lighting, but instead of diving deep into those topics, I made separate videos on each of them and referenced them in the video. Because I knew I was going to do this, I made sure to produce these videos first. So in August, I came out with the best camera, the best microphone, and the best lighting for YouTube videos. These are basic foundational videos that I can reference in the future when I share more advanced filming techniques. So I prioritized these videos first. So you can see how having a strategy for your content can not only make it more efficient to produce, but it can also keep viewers on your channel and turn one view into multiple views for the same person. Another great reason to plan your content is because you can strategize releasing it during certain times of the season of the year. For example, creating popular side dish recipe videos like mashed potatoes or stuffing during the holidays because they are searched for a lot during these times. Or you might create a video series on like the 10 things you need to buy from Amazon and push affiliate links for these products and release these videos Thanksgiving week because a lot of people will be doing a ton of online shopping during Black Friday all the way through Cyber Monday. And your potential for affiliate marketing income increases because they will be clicking on the links before they spend a ton of money online. See what I'm saying? This is more money in your pocket just from having a plan and strategy. If you have a plan, you will be more successful on YouTube. In another video, I'll show you how I come up with YouTube ideas that gets views and how to plan out topics that can be trending throughout the entire year. I'll put a link in the description once it's ready. See, I planned that out. It's planning people. So that's my entire YouTube content planning and scheduling process. I hope that you found value in this video. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up and type something completely random in the comments to make YouTube think that this video is important and shares it with others. 
Thanks so much again. Aloha.